Serach, Ecclesiasticus 11. Wisdom lifts, lifts up the head of him that is of low degree, and makes him to sit among great men. Commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. The bee is little among such as fly, but her fruit is the chief of sweet things. Boast not of your clothing and raiment, and exalt not yourself in the day of honor. For the works of Yahuwah are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of has worn the crown. Many mighty men have been greatly disgraced, and the honorable delivered into other men's hands. Blame not before you have examined the truth. Understand first, and then rebuke. Answer not before you have heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Strive not in a matter that concerns you not, and sit not in judgment with sinners. My son, meddle not with many matters, for if you meddle much, you shall not be innocent, and if you follow after, you shall not obtain, neither shall you escape by fleeing. There is one that labors and takes pains and makes haste and is so much the more behind. Again, there is another that is low and has need of help, wanting ability and full of poverty. Yet the eye of Yahuwah looked upon him for good and set him up from his low estate and lifted up his head from misery so that many that saw him, rather saw from him, is peace over all. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches, come of Yahuwah. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Torah are of Yahuwah. Love and the way of good works are from him. Error and darkness had their beginning together with sinners, and evil shall wax old with them that glory therein. The gift of Yahuwah remains with the Kodashim, and his favor brings prosperity forever. There is that waxes rich by his weariness and pinching and this is the portion of his reward. Whereas he says, I have found rest, and now will eat continually of my goods. And yet he knows not what time shall come upon him, and that he must leave those things to others and die. Be steadfast in your covenant, and be conversant therein, and wax old in your work. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in Yahuwah, and abide in your labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of Yahuwah, on the sudden, to make a poor man rich. The blessing of Yahuwah is in the reward of the holy, and suddenly he makes his blessing flourish. Say not, what profit is there of my service, and what good things shall I have hereafter? Again, say not, I have enough, and possess many things, and what evil shall I have hereafter? In the day of prosperity there is a forgetfulness of affliction, and in the day of affliction there is no more remembrance of prosperity. For it is an easy thing unto Yahuwah in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. The affliction of an hour makes a man forget pleasure, and, is it, and in his end his deeds shall be discovered. Judge none blessed before his death, for a man shall be known in his children. 
Bring not every man into your house, for the deceitful man has many trains. Like as a partridge taken and kept in a cage, so is the heart of the proud, and like as a spy, watches he for your fall. For he lies in wait and turns good into evil, and in things worthy of praise will lay blame upon you. Of a spark of fire a heap of coals is kindled, and a sinful man lays wait for blood. Take heed of a mischievous man, for he works wickedness, lest he bring upon you a perpetual blot. Receive a stranger into your house, and he will disturb you and turn you out of your own 